Okay, I got this Easter basket here on clearance from Dollar General. It was five dollars. I actually got it for fifty cent, and I took it to this apple basket look. Would filled it with some flowers. Thought it was pretty. I started with this. I took this Rust-Oleum flat white spray paint. And I took it outside. It's that Tool Times Ultra Cover Rust-Oleum, and I just started giving it light coats. I think I did three or four light coats all the way around. I figured it would give it something better to stick to because um, I'm going to be using some chalk paint here in a minute. So after that dried I painted the inside and outside. I was actually surprised how well it covered to be honest. I really liked it just like this to be honest but I took it inside and gave it Waverly chalk paint in the color truffle and I mixed it with some water inside of a bowl. Now I'm brand new to this. I've honestly never really done a whole lot of DIYs but I love watching DIYs and I wanted to try some things out on my own. So like I said never really done this. I'm brand new to DIY and I'm brand new to YouTube. So I probably didn't edit this properly. Um, it actually took me about three hours to edit the content for this video. So y'all please just be patient with me. I'm learning. And I'm hoping to really grow here and teach myself some things and hopefully show y'all techniques that I learn along the way. So, like I said, I made like a faux stain. I mixed that Waverly truffle. Just took a little stick and mixed it around with some water. More paint than water. I'd say probably two parts paint, one part water. And it made like a faux stain, sort of. And um, so I started with that rim right there. And I just, I kind of wiped it on. And it's going to look really dark. I mean, it looks like really, really dark. But it doesn't turn out that way. And um, I guess you really can't tell in the shot, but it's, it's actually really watery. And so, you know, just kind of paint it on, going with the grain, and then wipe it back down. And um, it was actually kind of hard because the three rings the, on the top, bottom, and middle there, they're going, you know, side to side, of course. And then the up and down parts, like when I was wiping those parts, it kept trying to, like, mess up the top part. Like where I had went with the grain, it kind of like added dots to it. And... Yeah, it was really aggravating to be honest, but I like the overall look of it. It turned out really pretty, and I think at the end, when you see what comes out, I think you'll like it. I just filled mine with some Dollar Tree flowers that I found, but I actually kind of think it would be cool if you took like some drop cloth or an old pillowcase or even like some burlap and filled it in, like you know, made like um you know, I can't think of the word. My goodness, what is happening to me? But anyway, <laughs> you know, just put it down in the middle there and kind of flop it over the side a little bit and maybe fill it up with some fruit. Use it with your fruit from the store or even some fake fruit to put in the middle of your table or something. It looks kind of farmhousey and cute and I loved it. And um, like I said, I'm hoping to show you some more creations that I've come up with. Um, brand new literally to DIYing um, but I love watching them I watch Heidi Sambo and Liz Fenwick and Caitlin crafts by Caitlin I can't think of her full name but she's my favorite literally my favorite youtuber ever and I just enjoy watching their videos and I thought well I think I can do this see what I'm talking about now now that you're watching me do this part oh my god that was so aggravating because I'm going up and down and then on the top and the middle there it kept wanting to go side to side but yeah that was the final product like I said I just filled mine with flowers and I had a hard time with that little part but it was fun and I hope that you guys enjoyed the video I'll be back with some more